In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort an array from least to greatest using bubble sort. The first step is to put a line on the first element to the second last element. We also have a variable called numSorted and you'll see what it does in a second. We put b on the beginning of the array, so b is 4. Now 4 is larger than 3, so we swap them. 4 is larger than 1, so we swap them. 4 is larger than 2, so we swap them. Now b is outside of the line, so you can see that 4 is in its correct place. Then we increment numSorted. So basically, whenever we put a number into its correct place, we increment numSorted. Then we repeat this process. We make the line one size shorter because numSorted is one, so we make it one size shorter. We put b on the first element of the array, so b is 3. 3 is larger than 1, so we swap them. 3 is larger than 2, so we swap them. Now b is outside of the line, and we can see that 3 is in its correct place. So we increment numSorted to 2. We make the line one size shorter. At the beginning, the line was size 3. Now 3 minus 2 gives you size 1. We put b at the beginning. 1 is not larger than 2, so 1 stays where it is. We move b up. Now b is outside of the line, and you can see that 2 is in its correct place. So we increment numSorted to 3. You can see that if we put three numbers into their correct places, then the last number is automatically in its correct place as well. So the array is sorted. What if the array is already sorted? We put b at 5. 5 is not larger than 6, so we don't swap them. But b still moves up. 6 is not larger than 7, so we don't swap them. But b still moves up. 7 is not larger than 8, so we don't swap them but b still moves up. The special thing about bubble sort is when b moves through the line and it does not make any swap, then bubble sort knows that the array is already sorted. Here is the code with l as our list or array. So num sorted goes from 0 to n minus 1 because remember in the example, if we put three numbers into their correct places, the last number is automatically in its correct place as well. And here is the line size, so b goes from the beginning at index 0 to n minus 1, and then minus num sorted. So as num sorted increases, the line size is going to decrease. Here are the best average and worst cases. And in the next video, we'll talk about merge sort. So if you guys found this video helpful, please subscribe and share. It means a lot.